Hey, hello everyone, this is Omega45, and welcome to episode 16 of my Mod of Minecraft Let's Play. So, um, last episode I kind of had like the basis for these, uh, and they're complete. They're four of the exact same, whoops. They're the exact same of like the ones I have in my base. Um, there's just more of them. And then I have yellow right processing over here. So that's all going, and I just put some little like uh, color in it. Uh, and then there are these. I have two battery banks, um, which are pretty crazy. These will hold 900 million each. So in all, I have what 1.8 billion RF storage. So it's uh, it's pretty good. Um, and then I was starting to just like plan out what this was gonna look like, and I had my two fusion reactors set down, um, stuff like that. But I just started to build it. I'm like, ah, how do I like put a roof on this and stuff like that and make it kind of look cool? And I kind of came to the conclusion that like I've made floating bases before, and none of them have really looked that great. So uh, I'm starting this. If we fly over here. This is my next base. So, it, if you've seen Neverus' uh, FTB Let's Play, this is kind of what it's modeled after because I thought it was beautiful and awesome. Um, Alright, so right here is like my just main like little hall, I guess. There's going to be a teleporter underneath here, um, so you just teleport right into here. And then down these two, I'm not sure when I'm going to have done these two. It might be like AE automations type stuff or fusion reactor fuel. Uh, down that way is going to be power production. So all of my fusion reactors and big reactors, all that stuff is going to go down there. Over here is like my control room. This is holding my ME auto crafting stuff which is much bigger than my last one because my last one's, my other one's full. So, um, there are a hundred spaces in here. So I'm doing, what, 85 crafting, crafting CPUs and 15 pattern providers. So this thing is gonna be able to craft so fast. It's gonna be insane. Like, just stupidly fast. So let's put the rest of these down. And when I say this will be able to craft really fast, it won't like speed up machines that it's hooked to, but if you order like a billion stone bricks, you know how it has to put like the uh, the four smooth stone together and stuff like that, that'll go really fast. That's what I'm talking about when I say this will craft fast. So, yeah. All right, let's put the top on. Excuse me. All right, sorry about that. And then put these on. Hopefully I counter it and it did. Boom. 15 pages. Cool beans. So I'm gonna start moving all my stuff over here. Um, I'm gonna bring my controller. Well I'm gonna bring a controller over here, get my wireless set up because I can't access it yet in here. Um, but this is gonna be awesome. So this wall is going to get pushed back. This is going to be like in the center. And then, you know how I did my UU uh, matter and I had like the, the walkway around the top? I'm going to do that and then have some other stuff up. So that's kind of my grand scheme. So let me cut more of this out and I'll be back. Alright guys, so I installed a new mod, the Roguelike Dungeons mod, because I want to get some spawners. And this is one of the other mods in the Minecraft pack that it wasn't on here and wow okay there's another chest that's pretty sweet let's grab that oh yeah you need silk touch for these don't you okay oh well that's fine um, projectile production do I have any armor on now let's just grab these because I'll probably need them all right so let's head on down here Uh, this is the first time I'm ever going to be in one of these. No clue what to expect. 
brought some torches. Um, so I'm just gonna torch this up a little bit and I'll be right back. Actually, never mind. This that was a stupid idea. I kind of want to like have you guys come explore this with me. So here we are. I guess I'll get on here first. Let's just trade these out. It's actually really pretty. This would make a cool base. Oh good, slime balls have been needing these. Turn the sound up a little bit. Yeah, this is really pretty. Doesn't look like there's too much in there. Let's go on this one. Ooh, there's a spawner. Skeleton spawner. some food and I'll be right back all right so I thought it might be a good idea just to make some armor real quick so I'm gonna make some nano suit stuff seems pretty easy except for the night vision goggles advanced nano suit oh that's pretty cool all right so I'm gonna make a bunch of carbon plates actually whatever I might already have them I need. Yeah, okay, so I should have enough to make this real quick. Oops, that one. Alright, body armor. And I need this. So I need circuit, glass, heat exchangers. Ugh. All right, I'm gonna craft this off camera, and I'll be back when it's done because it's probably gonna take a little while. <clears throat> All right, so I have my night vision goggles. Now all I have to do is. Boom. All right, and I'm, I think I want to go for this too. So I need my jetpack off. Throw that in there. Throw that in there. What am I missing? Oh, yeah, I see body armor. I also need a circuit. And little bit more coal dust for a plate. So I need two more plates. of these. Hmm. Okay, that's really weird, but whatever. I have 
three other jetpacks apparently, and I have no idea why. All right, so that's almost charged up. Let's grab our, our ammo. There we go. Let's see, is this enchantable? Nope. What about this? Unfortunately not. Okay, so let's just charge this real fast. Can I actually kind of charge it in here? Alright, well this was going to take a little while, so I'll be right back. Aw, yeah. <laughs> Alright, let's, whoops, wrong button. Five. Alright, let's do this. Swiftness. Snowball. Trendle. Not really much. Alright, nothing. Doesn't really look like there's anything in here. These are mainly just so I can find my way around. And this isn't too confusing, but still. Lots of skeleton spawners. Once I get my port of spawners, I'll, uh, I'll have to come pick these up. Alright, let's see here. So I'm gonna go over here first. Is there any more stairs here? No. Alright, let's head down another level. I'm guessing these get progressively harder the farther you go down. And I really haven't heard much about this mod. But that would make sense to me. Well, okay. There are so many skeleton spawners. Or something. 
something with ranged attacks. Because this is just horrible. Alright. It shoots so quickly. Whew. Heart's racing. Alright. Let's keep exploring. There's an Enderman. is what I want. This is a wither skeleton spawner. Trying to remember where the exit was. There it is, okay. It'd be nice to find a creeper spawner, too. This is huge. I'm going to keep exploring this, and if I find something really cool, I'll be back. Alright, so I'm now heading down to the next level. I didn't really find anything crazy down there. The only um, really nice thing I found was a um, piece of chrome dust, which is pretty nice. I found three wither skeleton spawners, so was, that's pretty nice too. It's, my stuff soon. Yeah, this, this seems like considerably more powerful already. That can go through doors. Oh, 
I really hate skeletons. They're just awful. just insane. How are you supposed to like... I don't know. All right, I don't even know. Alright, so I'm gonna get rid of that, 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 that. All of this random useless stuff I don't need. I'm gonna try I'm gonna try and like know where the exit is at all times. So I came down through here. I, mean, I do have it more oil. Oh, okay, here's the way down to the next one. trying to find is like a blaze spawner or underwind spawner. I found a bunch of weather skelly spawners. Alright, well, I will keep working on this and I'll be back. Alright, so I'm gonna travel down to the next level now. Didn't really find too much. I recharged my armor too, I ran back. I probably should have cleaned up my inventory, but oh well. It's okay. So let's head through. Here's the next way down. That actually might be the one I want. This looks like nethery. So yeah, I've gone through like eight stacks of torches in like two minutes. I might actually need that. Especially if I'm going to be fighting blazes in a minute. It's running, um, running your boilers off of blaze is actually awesome. Because they're pretty cheap. I mean, if you can spawn them, they're free. And then, I don't know, strong, um, And then, they heat up pretty fast. So, that's cool. You know, I'm just gonna head down there and see if there's anything to find, because I'm kind of tired of just, like, finding mobs. So let's run down there. Okay, actually, I could also use the nether quartz. I never have enough. Alright. Actually, since I'm safe for a second, I'm going to just move some stuff around. Slot one. You can go there. Go there, there. Okay. This is terrifying. You can just like see them waiting for me. I think this is the last level too. I mean, you can get me more in this. Uh, 
fight these guys, and I'll be back. This is probably really boring for you. Hey, I found it. Alright. So, what I need now is a portal spawner, but to get that, I need a wither star, and... No. Alright, before anything else happens... There we go. So that's really what I needed. So um, I'm gonna go back to my base and figure out how I can get some wither skulls and stuff like that. All right, guys. So portal spawners are pretty dang expensive. So my next idea is to build a um, to have them drop down a little ways, not as quite as far as this. But and uh, set up some grinders and just grab the mob essence and then use an auto spawner and then just spawn whatever I want whenever I want it and um, so that's kind of my new idea and I can there's lots of pro, um, uh, those little MFR spawn eggs down in that um, dungeon so I'll be able to use those so I'm going to build a tank now and there's nine so I want one two three four Five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Now this is obviously not where this is. This thing is gonna go. It's um, just a oops, placeholder. And I'm just going to be collecting the the mob essence for now. So that's what this tank is for. I want to I want to have this like a insane amount of mob essence all the time. So I I, I know I'm kind of off track from what I was originally going to do with the uh, with the base, but you know that's alright. I'm gonna finish up this and I will be back. And it is complete. So I have my iron tank. It will hold 10 million mill buckets or 10,000 buckets. So let's go make some grinders. I'm gonna start off with three. That might not be enough, but that's what I'm gonna start off with. So, grinder. This should be on like synchronized. That should be everything. No, it's not. All right, so I'm gonna need some machine rooms, books, coils. Don't have any of those. some leather and some paper whoops there's some sugar cane yeah a little bit I should have some more over here too thought I planted some
go. Okay. Here we have three grinders. So I'm also gonna need some fluid ducts. need some cobblestone. Alright, so I'm just gonna turn this guy off real quick by setting this to peaceful. And that shouldn't be too far of a drop. I'll do it like right here. If it is, I can put some vines up at the top to break the uh, drop speed. That won't be a, that won't work for all the mobs, but it'll work for a couple. I'm also gonna need some conveyor belts. spawning on the first pad. No, no, okay. Alright, that's a long way away. Um, do I have a tesseract? Tesseract frame. Let's figure this one out first. Conveyor belt. Oh, that's not too bad. Right, let's go build some of those. That's not that's a really easy recipe. <laughs> stack. Really freaky to look at. You feel like you're moving. I should have done my test tracks while I was there. So 
have two full test racks. Silver and bronze. So I should be able to run fluid ducts all the way from up there. That shouldn't be too much of a problem. I might need some more though. Would be nice if I could use a test rack though. This is gonna take a little bit, so I'll, pl I'll place all the wires and set the trash tracks, and I'll be back. All right, so it um, it looks done. I mean, I've had to rebuild this thing about six times now because it kept blowing up. Because creepers could somehow see me, which doesn't really make sense. But I encased the entire thing in stone brick, as you can see, and I have four more auto or um. I have four more harvesters or grinders, whatever you want to call them, over there for a total of seven, and it's just barely keeping up. Uh, every once in a while, I'll just get a ton that pile up in here, but it seems to be working pretty well. I'm, I'm happy with this. Uh, it's got a pretty good rate, so and it's already gotten a ton of mob essence. I already have 70 buckets, so that's 70 wither skeletons right there. Um, let's say I th I think it is like a one bucket for one spawn. Uh, it might be dynamic where it like if it's a more rare of a mob, it will cost more. But I'm not sure. Yeah, see it. Oh, jeez. Okay. Yeah, I don't know why that's happening. Wonderful. All right, well, I'm gonna build this again and I'll be back. All right, so I think I fixed it. I, um, there's actually a double layer of quartz glass that goes all the way down and it's up against this like brick wall. And um, it goes over the, um, so it's like one block and then the block in there as well. And it goes over the redstone conduits all the way up and then from those bricks down all the way up. Um, so I think this is working now. It seemed, I mean, I haven't had any trouble with it yet. So I think it's working. Um, I do need to figure out the fall damage though. They are still dying. Quite, quite a few are dying from fall damage. Um, and this has been running for a while now, so it should be working. Um, fingers crossed. I mean, I really don't want this thing to blow up again. That would suck. So, yeah, and then I built this little like viewing platform over here. So that's pretty sweet. Yeah, but this entire thing is encased in, in cobblestone. Or not cobblestone, um, stone bricks. So, and I have 168,000 my best. So it's, it's going pretty fast. I want to put like a little like on off switch almost. Um, see, this is like getting really filled up. I'm, I'm not sure if I'm going to need more um, 
grinders because when I'm here, I'm actually taking out like half the spawn pads because I'm too close. But when I'm down here, all of them are active because I'm more than 32 blocks away. So I'm gonna have to figure figure that one out. Because now they're like really starting to pile up, you can see. But it seems to be working pretty well. And I'm gonna have lots of lots of loot now. I'm not gonna have a problem with gunpowder anymore. It's a little baby zombie. Okay, there you go. Thought I saw a baby zombie. But yeah. All right. So I'm gonna let this just keep running pretty much forever. Um, my grinders are actually running off of this power, so I'm just gonna have to keep an eye on it. But it should be fine. Yeah. And then, I actually don't think I showed the wiring under here yet. It's not terribly complicated, but there's a lot under under like covers and stuff like that. So, yeah. All right. So what I was gonna do originally in this episode, which I probably don't have time for anymore, because I th I think I kind of want to wrap this episode up, but I'll just show you a little a little bit. Come on. All right. Is if this will stop being all weird. There we go. Is when I'm up in here, is I want to have the roof taller, and then around the outside, I want to have like one of like each guard tech machine and one of each IC2 machine. Um, just for like when I need to odd things out and I don't want to use my, my crafting system or something like that. I think it would look cool like having them all around the edge and stuff like that. So yeah, well I'm probably gonna do that off camera and I'll, um, that'll be for the next episode. So thank you guys very much for watching. It's been kind of a roundabout episode, but um, yeah, sorry. Uh, I usually, it seems to be a habit with me, but oh well, it's okay. And uh, hopefully I'll have a ton of mob essence and I'll build my uh, auto spawner next time. And it will be awesome. So thanks guys very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Later.